This use case was uh, created by our friends uh, David Rossi and Julie Berg. Uh, and as we see here in my log tab in Curator, I'm seeing mainframe events. There are, uh, let me show you the log sources that I have uh, defined in here. So from the mainframe, I'm getting uh, DB2 events. I'm getting RACF events, I'm getting C alert events, and COS events. And this, the setup couldn't have been any, any easier. All I have to do here is with the, once you have 7 to 8 and recent fix packs, uh, this syslog option appears on the mainframe. In the past, it used to be a pool of FTP files, which is, they were not real time. So now they are full real time as any other log source. You have that six log option here. You put the log source identifier, which is the IP address where the, the logs are coming from the mainframe, and that's it. You do the same thing for all the other entries. And you will see after you deploy the changes, of course, uh, that the mainframe events uh, are uh, coming here. One interesting thing in here at this that uh, notice that you know we get the the usernames uh, on the mainframe side, and actually let me show you that the UBA without me doing anything, in fact that was a nice surprise to me, started uh, picking up all those WUs and all these uh, usernames. And here in the user analytics tab, and you see these are the user IDs that were picked up. And they all in, uh, have a risk associated because the first time you use a credential, that is a risk factor in a UBA. Not a big one, but one that, that, that adds up. Uh, and you see as uh, just updated right now. And here in the admin tab on the reference set management, as you can see here, uh, in case that you haven't played with this, uh, UBA keeps track of all those users uh, in here. So. Uh, users that were recently added when I started playing those logs, you see here that many of these are the, those uh, mainframe uh, users. And he had picked up some privileged accounts within the mainframe as well that has been uh, used for the first time. It's actually it's very nice. And if I put a filter to look for the uh, RACF events uh, here, I can see them just as a normal log source as I do in the distributed world. I can, you know, look at the details of the event, and here are the uh, custom categories that have been uh, actually created. So now I can, uh, you know, get rules that fire on particular uh, job names or or something found on the on the uh, this uh, log string uh, custom and. and here I found an interesting one in Rakef when, when a, a, a profile uh, has been actually uh, modified. That's interesting. That might be something I may want to actually uh, pick up. And notice that uh, it already gave a high magnitude to that particular event. And I'm looking at the COS event in here, you know, a bunch of uh, TCP IP, a job ended, a job started here, visa and data set open. These are interesting things that you may want to monitor from the mainframe. UDP socket open. So if your mainframe has sensitive data, there's no reason why you cannot add that uh, to Curator and stop it from being a, a security silo. And actually, the story gets nicer when you combine not normal networking type of activity of people that try to get access to the mainframe with uh, information coming from the mainframe itself as, and correlated in a single offense as we do with uh, Curator in all other spaces.